that's really creepy. It's not really. She, you get used to it. I mean, she just does what she does. No, no, I don't mean that. I meant the fact that she fancies Greg Wallace. He's ashamed of the name of Greg. So, is that why you've kept your webcam on? Yes, I swear over the past week she has been coming into my room and moving stuff around. It's driving me crazy. Well, you can't exactly blame her for the things that she does when she's asleep. Calm down, Greg Scott QC. I'm not going to be prosecuting her. I just wanted to see how bad it's getting. In case she gets ill again. Wait, her sleepwalking makes her ill? Sort of. It's complicated. Oh no, the it's complicated status update. How obviously attention seeking. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. No, it's fine. I just don't want to get into it tonight. Tonight is about the prince of darkness. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. I think you'll find that it is in fact the night of giant etymological creatures devouring the human populace. Ha <laughs> ha! Big bugs eating folk. Oh. You see, I have with me here the final instalment of H.G. Wells's Hollywood rip-offs. Empire of the Ants, 1977, starring a young Joan Collins. She was 50 in that film. 44, actually, and still made entirely of natural substances. All right, put it on. You are going to love this. It's Alison. Hi, Alison. Yeah, he's here. No, just come on up. No, really, it's fine. What was that about? Your shadow, looking for you. Sorry, I know she's your friend, she just doesn't seem to like me very much. It just takes Alison quite a while to warm up to people. Like a reptile. I didn't say that like that. Cold-blooded, stony-eyed reptile. Don't know. I'll just have to warm her up in the sunshine of my love. Donna. Glad to find you here. Well, glad to see you're not drenched like last time. Oh, I've decided to skip a 7-up shower. So, what's up? Not much. You came all this way to tell me that not much was up. No, I came all this way to tell you that Mr Edmondson says you skip one more PE class, he's got to phone your dad. Wait, how did you find that out? Oh, I was in the same room. I was busy writing lines saying that netball games are not a form of anger management sessions. For the night seventh time. Ah, uh, I see. No, I was gonna talk to you, but No, no, you should stay. No, no, it's fine, I better get going. I've got quite a bit of work to do. But how much work can someone who does PE and art have? Sorry, it's not that they're not serious academic subjects, it's just you can't have that many essays to write, so you should stay. Don't dig yourself any deeper. No, no. What I'm saying is you shouldn't use your homework as an excuse not to stay. You should stay. I know, uh, you take English and drama and that's the best way you can express yourself. Just sit your eyes down, Alison, and shut the fuck up, okay? Good. Now, we're watching Empire of the Ants. I know you won't like it, so get all your complaining out now. No thanks, I think I'll just wait just before the big reveal and spoil the surprise, if you don't mind. There. Why? We're just getting to the good bit. Oh. I'm going to pee myself. The puppets weren't that scary. Can you get some biscuits while you too? Yeah. I'm glad you decided to stay. I didn't have much of a choice. I'm sorry about Mr. Edmondson. He seems like a twat. Are you actually sorry though? But I find me getting into trouble quite funny. No. Mm. I just said Edmondson's a twat. I saw you speaking to Emma in that lot. Emma who? Oh, don't fuck with me. I'm not. I just don't know who everybody is yet. I'm not surprised you're in with her. You know, your type always seems to find the clique. The populars. About your right queen be at your private school. What's your problem? <laughs> Cut you. You were looking at the plot on Wikipedia. I think we already knew what was going to happen before we clicked the play button. You just don't appreciate art when you see it. Oh. I got an A at National Five Arts, so I think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, did Actually. You? Did you? Well, you got it from copying me. No, I painted you. I didn't copy you. I improved you. Can I get anyone a drink? Why didn't you ask me to get it when I was up? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm fine, thanks. Can I get some milk, please? <laughs> a 
Okay, what did you say to her? What do you mean? She's practically tripping up over herself to get out of the room. I don't know, maybe she's tired. Maybe I'm tired of you being so possessive. How am I being possessive? I don't know, you just are. You suggested it, Freud. <sighs> maybe you're just jealous. Of who? Of Donna, because I like spending time with her. You spend time with your dad, but I'm not jealous of him. You know what I mean. All I know is that this conversation is starting to get on my tits. First you accuse me of being some psycho stalker who's obsessed with you. Now you're suggesting I'm some loner that hasn't got any other friends. But you don't have any other friends. You see, this is what you two have in common. You both know what not to say, but you say it anyways. I didn't mean it. Yeah, you still said it. You, op you opened that big gaping hole in your face and out it all tumbled. Alison, don't be like this. What? Offended because you've been such a douche. Come on, just just forget about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm some psycho stalker. I don't think I'm capable of forgetting what you say. I hang on your every word. Uh, Mum's home. She says we can both stay over tonight and she'll run you home in the morning. No, I'm gonna go home. Oh no, don't go now. There's creeps out in the street this time. Uh, I think I can take care of myself, thank you. Mm, and you've got the rest of the film to watch. Oh, actually, yes. I think I might stay and watch Joan meet our nasty end. She deserves it. She's such a cow. I'll go and get some pillows and stuff. I said before, I'm... Alison, I'm sorry. Alison? Are you listening, Alison?